If animals do have a consciousness, how might they experience events and sensations? Kestrels, after small mammals, will lock onto their target just like a missile with a homing device. But the kestrel may experience the hunt in a way a missile never could. It may feel hunger, wind through its wings, and perceive the ultraviolet of the prey's urine. The bird could have its very own individual awareness of the world. But is it possible different species of animals have different levels of awareness? These wild baboons in Kenya seem fascinated by mirrors found at a rubbish tip. Is it possible they recognize the mirror image as themselves? Psychologists use the mirror test as a way of assessing the existence of self-awareness in young children. They put a mark on the child's nose to see if she can recognize herself in a mirror. Too high. Look here. Look right there. One of the important milestones on the way to self-conscious emotions is a demonstration that the uh, animal, whether it be human or not, has the capacity to have an idea about themselves. Look and as we've seen, um, mirror recognition uh, is a, a technique which we developed with children, which has also been used with animals, which in fact al allows us to say that the, the animal or human child has a sense of themselves. If an animal can use a mirror to detect a mark on its body, then that means that the animal has to be able to spot that when it's in front of a mirror, any change to its own body will result in a change on the mirror's surface. Okay. And that's quite clever. But it doesn't have any implications for the animal's beliefs about its own mortality or its own distinctness. There's simply no connection between using a mirror and being self-aware or self-conscious. I think mirrors have been used for centuries as metaphors for the soul or for the self. And I think this has led many researchers to think mistakenly that if an animal can use a mirror, then it must have a self. But this chimpanzee can understand language. She's been taught to communicate in the form of symbols. Look. Can she tell us who's in the mirror? Can you tell me who's in the mirror? Yes, it's Pan Benicia. Uh-huh, it is you. This is surely proof that she knows who she is. So, if some animals can be aware of themselves, could they also be aware of others in their social group? A pack of wolves, when stalking a buffalo herd, depends on active cooperation. Each appears to know what's going on in the minds of the others, and they single out one prey animal in a coordinated attack. I think social coordinative hunting um, is a sophisticated behavior which suggests that these animals are very familiar with each other's behavior patterns, that they can predict what their fellows will do next and coordinate their own behavior to fit that. But in order to coordinate behavior in that way, they don't have to assume that the other animals have thoughts and feelings and so on. They can treat the other animals as if they were just mobile robots. But is there a way to prove that animals can read one another's thoughts? Some food has been hidden in a box. Okay, Only Pansy, the chimp, knows where. Okay, let's get the key. Which one was it? Which one? This box. Let's see what's in here. Good girl. Apricots. Apricots. Good girl. You come over here. Come here. Good girl. 
Okay. As part of this experiment, Professor Andy Whiten hangs up the keys and leaves. Then Andy's assistant moves the keys elsewhere. When Andy returns, Pansy shows she understands what's going through his mind and amazingly what? points to where the keys what? are. What's that? The key? Pansy. Okay. Let's Is this a sophisticated key. kind of consciousness like our own? 